Hi everybody, now this should be probably the last video in my um, Daisy Modding Beginner's Guides to uh, the Basics on Console. You may be aware of kind of, I've done quite a few of these nice basic introductions for new people. Um, and I realized though, um, a few days ago, that I hadn't done one about animals and how you can increase the number of animals spawning in on your server. We're talking about wolves, bears, deer, goats, sheep, that, that sort of thing. So I thought I should really, should really cover that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at that in this video. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your web interface for your particular server and you'll want to uh, log in and you'll want to go to the file browser and you want to click on that and you'll want to go into your missions folder so ps missions playstation xp missions for xbox and if it's a chernerus server it'd be chernerus plus if it's a livonia server it'd be enoch and you want to click on that and then you want to go into the db folder um, and then you'll want to go in and you'll want to download probably the events.xml file. Now you can work on these files live. Just try and make a backup before you do. Just remember to stop your server as well. So download the events folder and then copy it to your working folder and then open it up in your favorite text editor. Recommend Notepad++. Also, it might be an idea to have a look in the env folder and download some of the territories.xml's as well, just so you can have a look at them, because these kind of control what happens with uh, with animals. So let's let's go in. So let's have a look. So this is the events.xml folder that we've downloaded, and right at the top we can see we've got animals straight away. Now remember, with events, the the um, prefix on the name tells Daisy how it should treat the event so what type of event it is so just be aware of that so we've got an ambient hen so just remember hens events are treated differently to animal events like animal bear all right and then if you have things like um cars and things like that if we scroll down you'll see and uh, helicopter crashes they're called static so, so just bear that in mind that if it's an animal event or you're creating an animal event in the future, not in this video, it would have to start with the word animal and then we have bear. Um, so if we, if we skip past hens and we look at, um, if I, what should we do? Let's go to cows. So if we look at the animal cow event. So we've got our nominal, our min and our max up here. So how many events should happen on the server as people are wandering around. We've got things like our safe radius. So when you're wandering around, at what point do these events um, pop into existence and spawn in the children, which are down here, which are all the different cows. So you've got um, brown cows, spotted cows, white cows, that, that sort of stuff, male and female versions of it. Um, and then if we look at the territories files, um, these are the coordinates where those animals will spawn in and what you'll see is that for certain animals they have different um, things they're doing like grazing or resting or that they're by the water and so this is like the behavior of the animal as well what's it doing is as, as it's kind of wandering around so I would suggest really if you're thinking about increasing the number of animals on your server don't go do not go mad because a real common mistake that people do with not just animals but with all, all sorts of spawning in weapons and zombies and things like that is, is you put the number up way too high and often what that actually does is it breaks the server and the server doesn't work anymore and it won't spawn anything in so just consider doubling figures all right, if you just double figures, um, that will make things much, much more easy to find. So, for example, say with the animal deer, say you wanted more deer wandering around the map so it's easy to find, I would just double that to 18, and then I would double that to 4, and double that to 8. And then I, I would save that and re-upload it. Now, down here... Um, you can see that in, in animal deer spawns, you get one of the male deer and then you can get up to three of the female deer following around in like a little mini herd. So, so you could do something like that. Um, now, some of them are a bit odd. For example, the bear doesn't have a nominal value. <laughs> the nominal value is zero. Um, but say I would say set that to four and then have a minimum of four and a maximum say of well we could have four as well couldn't we 
Um, and you, I mean, in theory, you could change this down here and have max two, minimum two. That would mean two bears would spawn in. Um, I haven't actually managed to test that, so I don't know if it actually works or not. Um, but, you know, four bears, that's quite a lot. Um, hens leave them, because what hens do is, although it says there's only three of them, it doesn't work like that with hens. Hens spawn in kind of, a bit like mushrooms. You know when you're walking around the forest and you find mushrooms just, just there? Hens are the same. When, you, when you're wandering around a village, a hen will often just spawn in. So, I mean, they do have spawn points, but leave hens, because there's enough of those. Um, what else did we have? Pigs, you could increase that. Again, I would just double them. Roe deer, they're the little deer that, that woof. Sheep, you could double all that sort of stuff. Um, but as I say, you don't need to mess with these figures down here. Wild boars, you could double that. Wolf, wolf packs, do you really want that? I mean, you could go up to 16. And then we could have 8. And 12, something like that. And again, with wolves, you know, so they, they spawn in um, four of the white wolves um, and you can have up to six of the, the grey wolves. And that really is is how to do it. And then just save that, re-upload that to your server and then restart your server. It's actually quite difficult to test, though. And another mistake people often make is that when they're trying to test whether there's more, uh, for example, bears on the server, I mean, the chances of you finding it a bear, even when there's four of them spawning on a server at any one time, it's quite it's quite a rare thing. It's rarer than a helicopter crash. So it's very difficult to, to test it. And then what people will often do is they'll then put loads in. They'll put like 200 bears in. Now, that might well work, but what's going to happen is when you get a few people on the server, it's probably going to crash the server or the server's going to stop spawning things in. So just make small adjustments to the amount of animals that are spawning on your server, and it will make an overall big difference because remember even if you've got a hunting server where people hunt food to survive say you pulled out most of the food you don't want it so that they go to when they go to every single potential deer spawn point there's deer there it would make it too easy wouldn't it you want a little bit of um a little bit of a challenge for people so there we go animal events nice and simple keep it um keep it um on the uh, the sensible side um and there we go so that is kind of the end of my daisy modding very beginners guys don't worry i'm obviously going to be carrying in lots and lots of guys to to installing and, and adding things to daisy um, but what i'll do is i'll put a, dis a link to this a playlist in the description below the video so that if if this is the first video you've come across in this this list you can have a look at it and the idea of this playlist is it's for real beginners you know this is your first step into modding servers for console for daisy um and i go through real real basic stuff and then when you get onto the more advanced stuff what happens is you'll now be thinking okay i can do that how do i do this and all you do is just do a google search or do a youtube search and you'll be able to find videos from me and loads of other people on how to do the more advanced stuff in daisy so there we go hopefully you found that video useful if you have it like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon <laughs>